Hi everyone, and welcome to a reading for Cancer. I did a quick flip through just before I started the video, and this is what's popped out. You're feeling your happiness is when you've got all your money where you know it is. It needs to be looked after at the moment where you're feeling very much like you do need to look after it maybe there's only a small amount or you you're feeling like there may not be more coming in so it's at the forefront of your happiness i think at the moment stability is what you're craving now whether this is a financial situation or you're just really defending where you are you want stability this is mine this is where i am and um I have boundaries, okay? Putting up a boundaries. Probably putting up boundaries towards people, one, that are a little bit uh, overly emotional or you're putting up boundaries with yourself about being overly emotional. You're finding if your emotional outburst of this is yourself is leading to you maybe having less money of some kind and worrying about it. If it's other people, it's led to that situation. We'll get some more clarification. No. Thank you. You've decided that where your money, when your money is all sorted, you're actually finding really good emotional happiness. It's making you feel back in your energy and it's giving you an idea of the end goal again. Getting inspired and you're getting your strength back. I think you've been feeling like you've been focusing on the negative for far too long now and it's time to actually raise your vibration because you've got plans. You've got big plans. You want things to go um, better for you in your life, uh, you're now starting to focus on the upswing, how to improve your money instead of the, lot, the decreases in your finances. You're also really improving your health as a result of this. Um, you are focusing more on your physical strength. You may have to go through several hoops to get all this rolling, but it's something I don't think you're frightened of because you're really in tune with your inspiration and your intuition at the moment. You just need to be really careful of overconsumption, whether it's overspending or, or times of excess where you might um, find that you do overspend or you it, it leads to times of ill health. Uh, it's really important now to check in on your diet, incredibly important because I think anything that might be affecting you dietary at the moment uh, could come back to, to affect everything else in your life, time out from things and times of ill health, whereas you can't engage fully in your life. So I think that's another thing that's being brought up here is... Um, Really make sure you're nurturing number one first and foremost. Pour all that beautiful cancerian love into yourself, okay? It is time to put down the shell a little bit, but it's also time to realise that you need to plan for your future and plan the best case scenario for yourself because it looks like you actually can achieve that. You really can. You do feel bound and tired at the moment because there's a lot of restrictions around you. That's understandable. Just even the daily grind, being a human, I mean, requires so many things of us, you know. But you've spent a long time thinking about this and you have been really careful with what you've been planning so it's now time to get the strength and actually call on that incredible intuition you have um, to get the tenacity. The missing ingredient is 
to make sure you're looking after your physical body, your physical body is in optimum health. There's going to be a lot of communication coming at you. A lot of communication, but you need to also listen to your higher source. Because once you actually start to move, yes, you might get very exuberant or other people might come at you with their opinions on what you th they think you should or shouldn't be doing or past things that you've heard, past stories that run back through our heads, the way our parents raised us or what they said to us, other people when we were growing up or other scenarios in our life might come back and actually have you falling back into a little a momentary not long, but a momentary place where you're um, maybe spending a little bit too much or being a little bit too emotional. You're not looking after yourself, okay? So it's time to pay less attention to what other people think, and that's very difficult to do, I understand. And pay more attention to what your best case scenario is. What makes you... Literally jump for joy. You, okay? Because you've got the answer. You've got the answer to the question. Other people are good intention, okay? Have good intentions. But the way I see good intentions a lot of the time when people sort of rush in to sort of say, oh, I reckon you should be doing this. No, do you really think that's a good idea? Or, no, 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 no. or even these your own doubts. Uh, it comes from a place of if it's other people particularly, they want the best for you, but it comes from their own ego. Most of the time they don't actually ask what you want, particularly if they're telling, they're in, putting their impression of what they want onto you. It comes from their own ego. So you need to look after what is best for you because they're not you. As much as they may love you or have good intentions or want to protect you or your own mind trying to protect you from any harm, it's time to say, okay, no, it's like, I'll put that to the side. I'm coming up with a stable plan. I know what's best for me. I've really thought about this for a darn long time, but I really want this happiness and stability. I really do. I've jumped through all the hoops, but in the process, I've really looked after my intuition. Sometimes I've fallen off the, the wagon, uh, like a saw we're all human, hey. And well, I've listened to other people's opinions and that, and it's actually got me into a place of feeling a bit of ill health, or, you know, physical, or I haven't looked after myself as best as I could. Now you've got the game plan, you've got the idea, and you're focusing on the upswing. Let's see the outcome. Thank you, spirit. Wow. Bam. Wow, Cancer. Outcome. Massive change. This whole backstory of worrying about other people's opinions and and having it lead to your own sort of draining of your own energy and having you to end up having a, a backward stance is coming to an end pull your energy back into you and decide what you want. Look after your own health first and foremost. Lots of water, very important for water signs. Make sure you get lots of water and water therapy, good, clean water. What it's leading to is your ultimate happiness. Look at, look at you there, hey? That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty darn happy. There you are, a little cra I don't know if you can see that, a crab coming up just to say hello. Well done, sir. Well done, all right? And that's not, if you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. I mean, that's literally just a symbol of the drive, the the drive side of you, the one that, the side of you that gets up and gets, changes the scenario, right? I've, I've learnt, you know, my, my feminine side's taught me, my intuition side's taught me, and I've learnt from this, and I've got the drive to, to get myself up get my idea, my heart, my everything after learning all these things and change the scenario. You don't literally have to get up out of a scenario, but you have to change the scenario. So it could literally be you wake up in the morning and instead of having 
10 cups of tea like <laughs> like I do <laughs> some days. Not quite 10 cups of tea, exaggeration, but, you know, yeah, yeah. you choose to have a, a glass of water and or, a you know, you change it up, okay, instead of soft drink, you choose water or instead of takeaway, you make your own meal or it's a lot of nurturing. Is pouring it more into you, okay, instead of other other people, because it can just lead to uh, a draining of your own energy. Because you you are, if not the most giving sign in the zodiac. So I think you're actually mastering that and figuring out that when you look after number one, you can give generously to everybody around you, but. When you're giving to everybody else first it um, and acknowledging everybody else's desires and wishes first, it leads to you not being at full capacity and it's leading to the draining of your life force. So you're getting in control of it. Well done, Cancer. Fantastic. Because, yeah, I've picked this up really. The last few readings have been you've been surrounded by a lot of past darkness and to see you shifting, um, I think, I don't know, solar flares, everybody's talking about them, but there's been a massive shift um, with your energy from being a, in a completely stuck place to going, no, bang, I'm choosing my ultimate happiness. So congratulations. Keep up the good work. I really hope that helped, and I love you all.